I'm Keith Bowen. This is Hard Rock University, Mad Scientist Edition. We're here in our little field expedient lab where we're doing our leaching experiments. And the leaching solution that we use to dissolve the gold, there's three major things you need to keep track of. Number one is something called the pH. That's the alkalinity or the acidity of the solution. We need to keep the pH around a 10 to a 10.5. This is easily accomplished with something called a pH meter. It simply measures the pH. Very simple. Now another thing that we need is to determine how much gold is in the solution. And that is much more complicated. It requires a very expensive piece of equipment and a guy who's pretty darn well trained to run it. And uh, that costs us 25 bucks a number. Uh, but there's no really no way around it on a small scale like this. Now the third thing that we need to keep track of is the concentration of the leaching chemical. Uh, in this case it's called Eco Gold X. As a general it would be called the lixivant, the thing that dissolves the gold. So to do that there's something you can do that's cheap and easy and it's called titration. Now titration is a basic chemical procedure and it basically uses three things. Number one is the test solution. You need to have something you're actually testing. Number two is an indicator solution. This stuff changes color when something happens. Uh, if you were testing for pH, you can titrate pH and stuff using phenolphthalein. But this is designed to react when this solution is no longer reacting with the Eco Gold X. This stuff here neutralizes the Eco Gold X and the Eco Gold X neutralizes it. This is called your titration solution. So basically what you're doing, we know the concentration of the titration solution we add it carefully to a known amount of the test solution until all of a sudden the indicator solution changes colors indicating we have now used just enough titration solution to neutralize all the Eco Gold X. Now how do you get all these solutions? Well in this case they actually provide the chemicals to you. This is the indicator this is the titration solution. I believe this is silver nitrate. And the titration solution, this makes 100 milliliters exactly. This makes 100, I mean this makes 1,000 milliliters. This makes 100 milliliters. So, I've made those up. And you're going to need a couple of pieces of labware. Now, first thing you're going to need is something to do the test in. A little 50 mil flask works well. For this test, it's calibrated for a 10 cc solution, 10 cc's of solution. So you take, and this is called a burette, and you draw 10 cc's of solution. and put it in the flask. Now, that, this is pure water and it does two things. Number one, it helps clean it between tests. Number two, provides some place I can put the burette where it won't fall over and get broken. So now we have our sample. Now that sample is just the pure Eco Gold X. Should be about a 1% solution, which means it should take about two cc's to titrate it. First, you add so it's two to four drops here. Now we're ready to do the titration, but we have to have a special piece of equipment for that. Now this is called a burette. It's basically a graduated cylinder with a little valve on the bottom that lets out a little bit of solution at a time. And you fill it to the, you know, you get it to the zero point and then add to your Thing and measure it. Now in this case this is called an automatic burette and if you look up here I'm going to squeeze the base which has 
up to a liter of solution in it. Now I see it's got more, too much. Well, if you're doing this without an automatic burette, you then have to release a little bit and get it down there. With this, you just release and it sucks it right down to the zero line. I really like automatic burettes. <laughs> it does make it easier. Now at this point, we take the solution that we're testing and I start Oop. Come on. Slow down. And you don't want it to go real fast. And I'm stirring it here by just swishing it around. And you notice it's a nice kind of lemonade yellow there. Using a lot more uh, stuff. Speed it up a little. Perhaps. My way to is point whatever. Let me get my instructions here in a minute. All right, we're on. I did use one gram in 100 mils. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? That meant I should have used two mils. Okay, go ahead and just watch it. Hmm. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Hate that knob on the bottom. So now you see the color change. And it was right at about 20 milliliters, so that would have been 10 percent. Why are you so close? Because you wanted me to get the graduations and the numbers. How about up there? <laughs> Where the thing is. Um, according to the instructions, If the complexing agent A consumption is 4.8 milliliters, then the Eco Gold X agent concentration in solution equals 4.8 divided by 2 equals 2.4%. Well, I put one gram, I hope it was one gram, yeah, it's set to grams, I put one gram of chemical in 100 milliliters of water. The number went up again, Bear. Okay. And that would be 1%. That shows more like a 10%. Yeah. That's what my math is saying, too. Okay. Now, it may be that what we're dealing with is this is the Super Eco Gold X, so it may not follow those same instructions in terms of the concentrations. We shall see. Now, since I've got a pretty good idea where this is going to wind up, by the way, we made brand new solution just to make sure there were no errors, although I was confident there weren't any. The solution can be used for leaching, so it's not like anything's going to be wasted. 
In theory. Bingo. It turned. Okay. So that's at 19 mils, which according to the um, instructions should be the point Nine nine point five percent. Clearly not the case. It's about ten, one percent. So for whatever reason, this stuff takes ten times as much reactant to neutralize as the instructions say. Now I don't know if that's faulty or I say. My guess is it's the super gold X here, and so it it has more of something in it by a factor of 10 and uh, <laughs> that's what we're getting. So anyhow, there's that. Let's get another solution. Now, these are actual solutions here. Uh, this one comes from the electrolytic cell. This one comes from the pond outside, rainwater diluting all our wonderful stuff. So let's see because we're going to be working on that tailings pad here shortly. Let's get an idea. Where we're at. And we need to, we want to refill our Yep. Thing again. Go ahead and refill it. <clears throat> Should be able to do that with one hand. <laughs> Takes time. Okay, there you go. That's it. Okay, so we've got our reactant. And this one, I suspect, is going to be very, very... There. It, it went fast. Oh, yeah. So, you know, so we only got about one milliliter there. So, that's like 0.05% Eco Gold X. Okay? According to the correction factor. Write this down. Divide by twenty super gold X. Okay. So point zero five percent for that. Battery's getting really low. Last another couple minutes will be okay. I got another spare battery if we need it, but Oh, it thinks as it's already turned pink. <clears throat> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Same thing about point zero five percent. So anyhow, that's basically how it's done. It's a very simple procedure. It will usually get you within. Yeah, a hundredth of a percent sort of thing, depending on how careful you are, how precise things are, and how well the instructions are written. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
But that's all there is to it. And uh, I used to do it decades ago with cyanide, and now I'm doing basically the same thing with the Eco Goldex. The one thing you are going to need is a fairly clean, you know, debris-free solution. And uh, when we first get them back, they're anything but debris-free. They look like mud. So uh, you have to clarify it a little bit first, and this is so fine that regular filtration doesn't work. You need really good filtration or centrifuging. But simple enough to do. So that's how you do titration. Happy prospecting and keep it safe out there.